Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. Uh, this is my weekly show about great products from small companies. Now today, we have another product from Death Ray Designs. These are some base inserts for lipped 30 mil bases, um, 40 mil, 80 mil, huge bases, all kinds of bases. So for all of your um, Wrath of Kings, Dark Age, War Machine, uh, what else uses lipped 30 mil bases? It's like sci-fi or fantasy. All those games. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of them. Anytime you're using a lip base that has like a recessed top, basically, these inserts are for you. Malifaux, sorry, is another good example of this. Um, Malifaux, War Machine, Dark Age, Wrath of Kings. Can't think of any more. But there's bajillions of them out there that um, could use these inserts. So there's two kinds here. There's for the heavy recessed inserts. These are in acrylic. And there's for a standard um, insert base. And these ones are actually in laser cut card. Um, so I'll show you the two sets right now. One is uh, sort of in like a hanger mode. The other one's inside a box. But we'll flip them open. I'll show you some models and actually use them on. Um, and you can take a look. So here we go. Base inserts from Death Ray Design. So we'll look at the acrylic ones first. These are the ones I have the most um, experience with. And you can see they're laser cut. And you're an acrylic sheet. Sort of like you would see with like widgets and stuff. Um, and then you actually pop them out and pop them into the base. So uh, 30 mil ones, I've got the cobblestones here in the ancient temple. Uh, and I've got them on my Zeti, my vampires, um, and on my uh, scores as well for my Gritzy. And they sit into these deep lip bases um, and then just prime them and paint them as you would anything else. Like they take primer super well and all I've done is add some of the uh, texture paint from GW. I think that is uh, something mud. A uh, grow in earth, I think is what it's called, and then um, some base tufts from Gamer Grass uh, just to finish them up. But you can have them be blank. Um, and I'm using them actually for some sort of like cracked ancient sandy ruin bases too for uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's that game called that I play? Dark Age, because <laughs> they use these deep lip bases as well. Um, so these are the, the, the first sets basically, which are the acrylic ones. Uh, and then over here, we've got the Card ones. So these are laser cut cards. These are the metal plating ones um, for like more sci-fi games. And they come with different sizes. So when you open up this DVD case, as I'm sure DVD packaging is currently super cheap uh, for anyone who wants to buy it, um, you get different sizes. So you get 40s, 50s, whoop, and 30s. So these little ones are for 30s. Uh, and you get up for 70 bases. There it is, 40 mils and 50 mil bases. Um, and this would be good for anything on those kind of like sci-fi lip bases or even just steampunky stuff. So this would look great for, um, I guess, the uh, Arcanists for Malifaux, any kind of like War Machine stuff, because like literally War Machine stuff is all robots. Um, and again, you just prime it. So basically what I did was, if there's a tab, I used some masking tape and super glue over the tab. Um, and then I used some super glue or uh, PVA glue to glue these guys down, let them dry for a good little while, pin your guy to it, and then uh, just prime it as normal, and it was fine. Uh, if you wanna make sure that like the uh, the stuff doesn't like um, peel, it's a little more robust, water down some white glue and paint over top, and that'll give it a good coating, so that when you prime it, it doesn't soak up the primer. Um, but I had no problem with them. I just primed these guys straight, I didn't even bother doing that for my uh, Bushido lad here. This is Karasu, one of the ninjas from the Kage Kaze Izoku. Uh, and they're on these guys, which are the curved stone base base inserts, which would be perfect for Malfo, any kind of like cobblestone-y stuff, um, just anything with a lip base, uh, War Machine again, where you want to have some cobbles. Uh, and you get tons, so I think these were like 15 bucks each from like one of these, uh, and you get enough for an army. Like, <laughs> you're gonna get 70 of these, you pretty much have enough for an army ready to rock and roll. They're super easy to use. Um, what I would do is just get all your bases out all at once and just do all your basing so it's all ready to go, and then once all that stuff's dry, go through your army, clip off all the tabs, uh, and pin them all to the bases. So. Quick and easy basing, quick and dirty, uh, super smart from Death Ray Designs. Uh, check it out, I'll put the links in the video description below. So there you go, another great product from a small company. We've got some base inserts from Death Ray Designs. Now, if you know of a great product from a small company that deserves more attention, you can have them email me at girlministrygames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement of the streets, and I'll do my best to put it in front of as many people as possible. So we'll see you next time for more of these. Till then, I'm Ash. Time for